It's talk radio that sounds like real life. Welcome to Big Mornings on the Big AM 138. And let me tell you, it was totally unintentional that we lead into this segment with an ad for propane for your grill because uh, we are getting that time. Some are just around the corner. It means it's time to fire up the grill, especially if you're entertaining people this weekend or any time during the summer. You can enjoy the warm weather, and this summer you can take your grilling skills to the next level because there's new grilling technology to create delicious recipes with unique flavor. We're going to find out about that from somebody you may be familiar with because he's the author of Take This Dish and Twist It. I like it. And uh, he's also known for popping up on the Food Network. He's been on the Today Show, CBS This Morning, Dr. Oz, Nat Ferkus, Wendy Williams, and a lot of other places, too. And he knows what he's doing when it comes to cooking because... He's a chef, and he joins us right now on Big Mornings from the Big AM 1380, getting grilling trips, uh, tips rather, from uh, Chef George Duran. Chef, thanks for joining us this morning. Appreciate it. Hey, Ted, what a pleasure. Thank you. It's our pleasure. And uh, now let's talk about making great barbecue because, you know, I know there's a lot of different ways to go about doing it, but what do I need to know about making great barbecue, sir? Yeah, you know, if you want to make a nice uh, backyard barbecue, you need the right ingredients. And smoking has become the big thing right now uh, for a lot of people. Uh, and the good thing is that finding the right ingredients, you can do that very easily. Uh, Omaha Steaks, for example, they just launched a brand new line made especially for smoking. They have a great uh, abundance of raw products for smoking, like a whole beef brisket with a free ancho chili rub, a whole pork shoulder with a free applewood rub, a split baby back ribs with a free Asian barbecue rub. And if you don't have time to smoke for example you can buy it pre-cooked as well they have the whole smoked brisket uh, smoked baby pack ribs i mean these guys almost takes their fifth generation their family-owned company they've been, they've been providing finest premium all-american grain-fed beef for nearly 100 years so you, you can really trust their quality of meats they even have a father's day t-bone gift package for only 69.99 you can check them out at omahasteaks.com or you can call them or visit one of their 70 retail stores across the country and right there you have an, a situation where smoking is encouraged. That's the good news. Um, and, and tell you what, we're talking about grills. And this is one thing I ended up learning during uh, my time. At all, I'll just admit it, since I've been married, learning about uh, grilling and really enjoying doing it in, in any sort of weather. Because to talk about the summer grilling, I've grilled when the temperature has been like around 10, 15 below zero. You know, I'm, I'm not adverse to that. But when it comes to... Uh, and, you know, purchasing a new grill, what should someone ask themselves about that, uh, Chef? Well, you know, you have a lot of options, and actually the new grilling technology, it'll take your grilling skills to a whole different level, and they can all be found at the Home Depot, by the way. So let's start with the gas grills. Everyone knows that gas grills, they provide an even, precise flame. It's easy to cook meats. Uh, it has a controlled heat. It's very good for delicate meats. Um, so I like to use the Weber Spirit E310 gas grill with a gourmet barbecue system. So what's beautiful about the Weber, and by the way, you can't go wrong with this brand. Um, it has an interchangeable grate system. So you pretty much can swap out the center grill. There's like a little uh, circle griddle in the center of it. You swap it out for a pizza stone that fits perfectly on it, a wok that fits right on it, a poultry roaster that fits right on it. So you can swap these guys out. You can pretty much cook every meal of the day with this grill. And it's a Weber grill. And by the way, Home Depot is the number one seller of Weber grills. You also have something like the infrared grilling. It's an infrared system that... Is it's the latest and upcoming trend, uh, and there's this grill. It's called the Next Grill Evolution 5 Burner Stainless Steel Gas Grill. And it, I'm telling you, you're, you're, you're going to be cooking like a regular gas grill on it, but you also have the infrared system, which allows you to sear meats before you continue cooking the meats itself. Or you can flip the infrared system and use it as a smoker as well. So these are some of the options on this just one Next Grill that you have. And, of course, charcoal grill. Do you do a lot of charcoal grilling? No, actually, one, that's one of the things I never really liked doing because what, you end up spraying the, uh, the, the lighter fluid on it. My mom used to do that. That's one of the things that discouraged me from grilling. Actually, moving on to like you know the gas grills you were talking about made it a lot easier and made me you know made it a lot more tasty for you. But I know that there are ways to do charcoal where you don't end up getting the flavor when it comes to the lighter fluid or anything like that, right? Absolutely. In this day and age, things have become so so much 
healthier for you. So if you use lump charcoal, for, for example, or you use this grill, it's by Vision Grills. It's called the Vision Grills Kamado Pro Ceramic Charcoal Grill. It's an egg-shaped grill. So it's one of those ceramic egg-shaped grills. It allows you to cook food evenly by heating all sides simultaneously. It comes in a variety of colors. The dome shape is great for cooking pizza on the lava stone. You can smoke meats in it or even use the convection environment to slow cook a brisket. And you're talking about the, the charcoal itself inside of it. Uh, and this day and age, if you use newspapers or you use the little, sh uh, the little chimneys that you put in the charcoal and put newspapers in the bottom, there is no need to use any of that lighter fluid whatsoever this day and age. Just use a good lump charcoal, use a, a vision grill, and I guarantee you, you're going to have nice, smoky, really nice flavors uh, with your meats this day and age. Very simple to use, too. Yeah, he, Chef George Duran is somebody that's talking me into using charcoal again. That's yeah, yeah, and 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 that's good news because you do get a very distinct flavor with that. He's joining us on Big Mornings, the Big AM 1380. Speaking of taste, uh, basically, how can people cook food differently and create more of a grilling experience when it comes to, you know, using the grill, Chef? Absolutely. You know, a lot of people are starting to become extremely creative with the recipes that they use on the grills. I have a grilled uh, banana split um, sundae that I make on the grill itself. Wow. It's a very simple recipe, and I'm pretty much grilling pound cake pieces with bananas, and then I'm serving it directly on a bowl with a bunch of ice cream on top of it. And people don't think, you know, the grill can be used for much more than just your typical meats and burgers and hot dogs. Yeah, and the thing is, too, different grills, different flavors, too, because we were talking a little bit about that. When it comes to the gas grill, the difference between that and the charcoal grill. And, and basically, what you're using for, uh, for the cooking can really influence the f flavor in a great way, can it, Chef? If you're a big steak person, for example, stick with a sear, like an infrared uh, searing system, or even a charcoal grill, so you want kind of that smokier flavor and nice high heat before you continue cooking it. So you want to get a nice uh, a crisp uh, side of the steak on both sides, so you get that Maillard effect, which is pretty much the caramelization of the meat itself, of the protein itself. Yeah. So the one thing you're talking about, Chef, is it's not it's not grandpa or grandpa's or mom and dad's grill anymore. This is an entirely new era we're talking about when it comes to cooking on a grill, isn't it? It really is. Get rid of that old rusted grill. Start upgrading. Home Depot has them all for you. And you're going to thank me for it because you're saving time. You're cooking healthier. You're cooking faster, but uh, also quality. So if you're going to invest this much money in the, the cuts of meats or the quality of foods, why not invest it in your grill as well? This is the way to do it. Yeah. One other question, too, when it comes to grates and all that, should I keep an eye on that? Because it's like I'm using grates, and I like using them for a while simply because if I don't have to change them, you know, I don't change them. But, you know, should we keep an eye on that? If it, you know, say, for example, does it get too old? Say, for example, the grates as well as everything else uh, when it comes to changing that stuff out? The new grills this day and age are pretty good, and they either you can have the uh, stainless steel, the ceramic, the cast iron uh, grates. Uh, the important thing is to at least twice a summer, twice a season, uh, take out the grates, scrape them down, wash them a little bit, and add a little bit of oil, almost season them like you do a cast iron pan, and you're good to go. Those grates should last as long as the grill itself. Okay, good. I'm going to take this portion of the interview, play it for my wife. So she, <laughs> The chef said so, so I think I'm right on that one. Chef George Duran uh, joining us on Big Mornings on the Big AM 1380. People want more information on the tips you gave us, where would you send them, chef? Yeah, just go to dailylounge.com and you'll find all of this and much more. Dailylounge.com. Funnest guy in the room, Chef George <laughs> Duran, because he can cook and cook well. And, Chef, thanks a lot for joining us. Have a great weekend, A sir. pleasure being on Big Mornings. Thank you. Great, thank you.